So in today's video I will show you the situation in the Netherlands and why it is so important to have uh, low um, carbon emissions. So I chose the Mini, Mini Cooper uh, you see on the left, then you see the Mini Cooper S, uh, more to the middle, then in the middle the car that I chose is not the uh, accurate version, it's uh, just a uh, Swift, but this is the Suzuki Swift Sports uh, hybrid that I have. The real hybrid sport looks a little bit different, but okay. And uh, the entry level Porsche 911, so the cheapest one. Uh, this is an automatic, this is an automatic, which I have better uh, uh, fuel consumption, so lower BPM, a lower uh, carbon uh, carbon output. And also the Suzuki Swift Sport, only one version, and the 911 is also an automatic, which also lowers the carbon output, which is beneficial for fuel economy. So here you see the prices. So the regular Mini Cooper with the 1.5 liter three cylinder costs 30,000 euros in the Netherlands. This is the price even after the, when it, the dealer puts a little bit of uh, work on it to present it to you. The Mini Cooper S is 37,000, even 38,000 when the dealer uh, releases it. The same with the Swift, so 25,000 and a bit and over 26,000 when the dealer releases it. And the same with the Porsche. So 155,000 euros and 156,000 euros in addition. And why is that? I will show you why. So if you look at, uh, let's see if I can show you a little bit more. You see also that they are all automatic, only uh, the Swift is a manual. So that's a det detrimental for fuel economy, of course. Yeah, you see the powers. Also a funny thing is that if you look at the power to weight, uh, this has a better uh, torque per weight than even the Mini Cooper S has. And why is that? Because it is a lot lighter. As you can also see, the performance stats are here. Of course, the Porsche is uh, very much faster. Here you see the fuel economy. And because uh, here you'll see also the uh, CO2 emissions, those are not released yet, but they are um, in a later stage. You see the BPM that they are already known in the system, so you see them here. And this is because this is the VLTP, and the other one was the earlier version NADC. So they don't go for the NADC, but just for the VLTP, the newer version. And there you see them. So 127 grams for the regular Cooper, 134 for the Cooper S, so only a slight increase. 127 also for the Suzuki Swift Sport Hybrid, and 233 uh, gram for the Porsche. So this is almost double that of those uh, Swift Sport and the Cooper, regular Cooper. But if you look at the weight, you see them here, and then you see that the Swift Sport has a better torque per kilogram than the. Cooper S and the regular Cooper by far, and if you would tune it, it would come very close to, uh, or even if you can go over 300 newton meter, you can have better torque even than the Porsche 911. It's a funny thing, huh? But here you see what is happening and why it is very important that you have a efficient car. And the Porsche is already a very efficient sports car huh? because it's light, it's very aerodynamic, and it is also. Um, they're very sleek and has a good uh, design and engine. So here you see uh, the prices here on this uh, so on this part. So again, the, the the Cooper, regular Cooper, Cooper S, uh, Swift Sport, and the Porsche. And you see that the the prices are here, but you see that the CO two price is 40,000 euros in addition to the net price and then also the BT, BTW as we call this which is value added taxes placed. This is yeah, still a, a reflection of this because it's 21% of that as you can see in all those brackets. But this is the BPM, this luxury tax and that's dependent on the CO2 as you can also see here. So the fixed BPM is now uh, yeah, just cancelled so everything is zero but now you can see that because they have the same co2 the cooper regular cooper and the 
Uh, Suzuki Swift Sport have the same. A little bit more uh, CO2 is now for the Cooper S, so it increases a little bit. But this was almost double, but you do not pay double the BPM, but you pay almost tenfold the BPM, which makes it almost impossible to, for many people to drive a real sports car. So if you look at this total price, approximately um, yeah, one third leans on the BPM, a little bit less, but yeah, at least one fourth. Whereas here for the total price, it's only like one fifth for the Swift. And here it's even less. Yeah, if you look at that product price, you can see that it's almost uh, yeah, one seventh. Here the same. So these are quite the bar bargain uh, if you look at the BPM, the, the, the minis are. And the Swift Sport is also still, uh, yeah, still okay, but this is not the bargain anymore. And that's the trouble why uh, a, a fuel efficient car is very important. So if they will release in the Netherlands a 911 with uh, mild hybrid technology, for example, this will really benefit the CO2 uh, tax, the BPM tax, as we can see here. Which is now so incredible. And there's also the way or the reason why the electric sports cars are such a steal in the Netherlands compared to the regular ones. Because in the Netherlands, we have the same price as uh, other countries such as uh, Belgium and uh, Germany for the electric cars, but are very much penalized for internal combustion engine with CO2 output, especially if that's a little bit high. I hope this video helps and is uh, illustrative. Also, I hope you like the pics that I made to just uh, illustrate it uh, to you. I will also try to show you the real um, Swift Sport Hybrid now, because this is not the real one. You can find it, of course, on my channel. But the real uh, Sport Hybrid, you can see there. So I have them in white, like that. Really nice car. So I hope this helps and gives you the, the background that you need. Founder and car out.